Scoliosis is just basically a word we use to describe an abnormal side-to-side -side curve of the spine. So looking at this x-ray, normally the spine is straight, and here we see the spine curves off to the side. We say it's a side-to-side -side curve because we always look at two-dimensional x-rays, but in reality it's a three-dimensional rotation of the bones of the back, and that's why when people with scoliosis are examined in the school screening program, what we look for is a rib prominence or rib hump when they bend forwards. Well, scoliosis uh, is interesting because uh, we see two big populations of scoliosis patients. The first are pediatrics, and that's, for the most part, curves that are genetic in origin, and almost all those children come to us with no pain symptoms. And this makes sense because if it was painful, we wouldn't screen for it in schools. Everyone would come to their doctor's office and say, hey, my back hurts. So in pediatrics, for the most part, um, the curves that we see are not painful. Even large curves like this, typically the children have no symptoms. Later in life, as people get older, uh, many times folks had completely straight backs in their pediatric years. And then as they get arthritis in their back, they develop what we call degenerative scoliosis, or in other words, wear and tear of the joints of the back that causes a curve uh, to occur. And actually by age 65, about a fifth of people have a small degenerative curve. And oftentimes the reason people come to see us for these curves is because they are in pain, either back pain from the arthritis or leg pain from pinched nerves in their back related to the curvatures. Probably the most noticeable thing in the pediatric age group is asymmetry. So if you have uh, either a hump on your back or when you look at yourself in a mirror, you see that there's a difference in your waist creases or some people will notice that a dress fits differently or their pants don't quite fit the same around the waist. That's a sign that something's asymmetrical. And the human eye is extremely sensitive to symmetry. So a lot of times even very, very small curves that are not significant are noticed uh, on examination either in the pediatrician's office or the school screening program. Really what the screening program is designed to do is pick up curves that we would think about bracing. And for the most part, that represents curves uh, that are 30 degrees and larger in children that are still growing. Uh, scoliosis is not just a children's problem. Uh, we see scoliosis most commonly, and most of us hear about it, in the pediatric age group because of the school screening program in Texas. But in reality, the majority of scoliosis we see that's problematic actually is in adults. And either from untreated pediatric curves that have become large, or curves that developed spontaneously in adulthood and became painful. 